Men in Black International is the fourth entry in the Men in Black franchise, which started in 1997 with the very first Men in Black movie that starred Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones as the two agents who were protecting mankind from aliens, right? They were aliens that would come, and the men, if they were bad, the Men in Black agency would engage them, and, you know, they would make regular humanity forget, because the whole point of the Men in Black is they were supposed to be secret, by, you know, holding that pin up, that would flash that light and make you forget if they if the Asians put it in front of your face. That's how they would keep their, you know, activities a secret. And in this movie, the agents, the stars, are two agents played by Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. They are the new stars, the inheritors of the Men in Black franchise. And in this movie, the Men in Jack, the Men in Black, you know, um, agency is going on about its business protecting Earth from aliens. And you know, Chris Hemsworth is a seasoned, experienced agent, and Tessa Thompson is the rookie. Like in the first one, in the first Men in Black, it was Tommy Lee Jones who was a season agent, and Will Smith was the rookie. And But now that dynamic, it's Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. So they're going about their business, investigating, you know, crimes and, you know, alien phenomena. And they uncover, you know, a mystery. And that mystery, you know, is tied to something like a conspiracy that affects the entire agency. And, you know, I have to stop there because then it'll be spoilers. But, you know, you probably know how a plot to this movie goes because, you know, it's pretty obvious how this movie is going to go from the previews. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that the reviews for this movie are terrible. Critics are tearing it apart. It's getting a low score. And I think that, as usual, critics are being overly harsh in the reviews. But, you know, they are right in the sense that the movie has a fault. And the fact that it's... Well, in my opinion, the reason why this movie is kind of, like, not really landing with a lot of people, a lot of critics, is it's not really that funny the way the original Men in Black was with Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. There's a huge comedic element that's missing. And since, you know, it's an action comedy. And since the comedy is diminished, the only thing that could really make this movie great is the action. But the action scenes in this movie are not, they're not bad, but they're not anything to write home about. Not compared to, you know, the kinds of action we see in movies like this all the time today, right? Like the action in John Wick or in a superhero movie, right? Like the fight scene in BVS or, you know, all these people with powers fighting in Avengers Endgame. Men in Black International doesn't have any of that. So it doesn't really have anything, really, to elevate it. The actors do a good job. The um, directing is fine. The writing's fine. But there's nothing to make this movie stand out. And since it's also not funny, like the original Men in Black was, you know, there's really not really... There's not much of anything to make this movie stand out and be special. Now, speaking to the lack of, you know, comedy or the... I mean, there's comedic elements, but it's not as funny as the original one. The reason that is is because neither the two stars, Tessa Thompson nor Chris Hemsworth, they're not playing their characters as, you know, funny people. They just seem like, you know, regular people, quirky people in an environment where funny things happen to them, but neither one of them themselves are really comedians or, you know, trying to. And I don't know if it's because they don't have those skills or they just weren't told to by the director or their agents. Like... It's not, it's like they're not even attempt, it's not that they're making jokes and they're not funny. They're not even attempting to do it. They both play their characters very straight, which is different from the old Men in Black. Like the original Men in Black with Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones was the straight man character, you know, the more serious one. And Will Smith was the comedian. He was the funny, zany one, right? In this movie, Men in Black International, both characters are more of the straight man character. You know, Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson's characters. And there's funny stuff happening around them and to them, but neither of them themselves are really that zany or hilarious. Tessa Thompson especially, she's good in the role, but she plays her character very straight. Like, her character is weird and quirky, but she's not funny. And Chris Hemsworth is this laid-back seasoned guy, but he's not really that funny either. So, you know, the dynamic between them is like, you know, seasoned agent versus rookie agent, and, you know, more worldly agent versus, like, inexperienced kind of like um, repressed agent, because her character's kind of repressed, but neither of them are funny. And the interactions between them aren't really that hilarious. It falls on like a lot of supporting characters and funny situations to happen to them. But, you know, they both are more like serious characters for the most part. And so because of that, Men in Black International is missing a big comedic element that the original Men in Black had. And that's what this movie is going to be compared to, and it makes this movie fall short. If that's what you're expecting from a good Men in Black movie. Like, a Men in Black movie's got to be an action comedy. This one, the action isn't really... I mean, it's okay. The action's not that great. 
and the comedy is not that pronounced. So there's really nothing to make this movie like stand out in the way that you would expect it to, given the franchise it's a part of. So, you know, see Men in Black International for yourself and see what you think. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.